Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat. On here we talk about fashion, style, shopping, stuff like that. Today we are doing a Rent the Runway review. So if that sounds cool, be sure to stick around. But I did want to start with first off, hashtag ad. I am a Rent the Runway partner and I do have a coupon for you. So it will be in the down below box, but I also have a graphic for you on the screen. So if you want to get 30% off of your first month, month of a Rent the Runway membership, use my code and you'll get it. All right, let's get into it. So I got a little behind on these reviews because I stopped posting because there was a pandemic. So most of these items are still available, but some of them are not available in as many sizes. So just forewarning you, but I will link them all below to save you some time. So if you want rent one of these specific items, there will be a link. These are commissionable links, hashtag ad again. So let's look at this first one. This brand is Threads of Privilege and it is a sweater. I was not expecting it to be cropped. I was hoping to wear it to work from home and it was just way too cropped for that. I have some high-waisted pants that I could have worn with it, but they still would not have been high-waisted enough. And that might be a me problem. If you've been here, you know that I have a hard time finding true high-waisted stuff because I have pretty long legs, but this was way more cropped than anticipated anticipated, but the colors are so vibrant and beautiful in person that if you have a chance to buy this, I would recommend it. It's so cute. If you love it, you'll love it in person. It's really beautiful. Next up, we have a wrap dress from Draper James. I had had my eye on this since basically when I signed up for the service, and so I was very excited that I got to wear it. It is a very nice material. Draper James tends to have some items that are pretty high end and really nice quality and others that are a bit more what I would consider to be sort of the quality I would expect at the mall or something like that. This one I felt was on the higher end and I feel like it would hold up well over time. I found the fit to be true to size and I'm not a huge wrap dress person, but this one worked well for me. So I enjoyed it very much and would wear again. This next piece is one of the coolest things that I have rented to this day. So this is an all over map print midi dress. The brand is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. And that is a brand that I am less familiar with. I don't own anything from the brand and have perhaps rented one or two items, uh, but this was the first one that I had ever rented from the brand, and I found it to fit true to size. The quality was very good, and the fit of this was really nice. My only critique, and I could understand someone totally disagreeing with this, I wish that the sleeves were a bit different, maybe a bit shorter, or just that the fit was a bit more like a traditional shirt dress. But besides that, this is a fantastic item. And if you have a chance to rent or buy it, you definitely should. The quality was amazing and the price point is high, but there are some of them that are still floating out there that are previous rentals that you would be able to purchase at a discount. So if you can, I'd say do it. It's a great dress. Next up were these Trina Turk shorts. These are still available for rent if you're watching this timely. Fantastic. The fabric has a bit of a texture to it that I wasn't expecting, but that's not a note at all. They were really great and it actually made them a bit more substantial and really very wearable. The colors are fantastic. The pattern is fantastic. And I adore the fit of Trina Turk bottoms. So 10 out of 10, I loved this. Next up, this Sail to Sable dress. It is a tunic dress and I found it to be a little bit short actually, which is unusual. I haven't really had that problem with Sail to Sable before. And so I wonder if it's just this item or if this item was shrunk during while they were caring for it. I don't know, uh, but it may have just been the one item that I got, not all of them, so I can't speak to that. But the colors are fantastic and the quality is great. I'm obsessed with Sail to Sable. And besides this being shorter than usual, it embodied all of the quality that I expect from Sail to Sable. And I would recommend this. 
Next up, another one that I would definitely recommend. This is a Lily Pulitzer dress. It's a navy and it has this beautiful detail on the front. I found it to fit very true to size. The length on this was great. I wore this and actually ran some errands and then went to dinner and it was fantastic for that. A perfect warm weather dress and everything that you would expect from a Lily Pulitzer piece. I actually felt like this one was even a bit nicer than what I expect from the brand and so I was very pleased I would rent again. I will point out as well that that front soutache kind of detail is actually gold and silver. I wasn't aware of that until I saw it in person so just letting you know. Next, we have an item from one of my all-time favorite brands. This is La Double J. I am obsessed. I love their prints, and I think they have the cutest stuff. I will say that their separates, the sizing, confuses me a lot. So I went up a size for me in these, and I could get them on, but they were so tight. I couldn't wear them anywhere that I would need to sit down. And I have found that to be pretty consistent with the brand sizing. So if you're looking at separates, you might want to size up even by two sizes potentially because it's cut very small. I think if you are a pretty true hourglass, it might not be a problem, but if you're anything besides that, it could definitely be an issue. Besides that, quality was great. The print was fantastic. I am obsessed. And if I could find these in my size, which would be larger than I rented, I would even buy these. I thought these were so, so cute. Next up was this midi dress from Kate Spade. I think that the print on this is gorgeous. The colors are very cool together and the scale of it is really beautiful. The fabrication on this though left something to be desired for me. It's a very slinky material and I don't think that it made sense with the silhouette. I didn't find it to be particularly flattering though it was comfortable so it was fine for a work for from home piece, but it didn't seem quite as elevated as I would want it to at the price point. And I am not totally sure where I would wear this. So for me, it wasn't a big win. I was somewhat disappointed in this one. However, you can rent other things or buy them in this print. I would highly recommend that. And then next, we had another La Double J piece. I find that their dresses fit in a much more reasonable way than their separates. And so in this, I chose my usual size and it fit fantastically. I love this print and I love the fit of this dress. This is a dress that they do over and over again in different patterns. And I thought that it worked great with this pattern. I think it's beautiful and I think that it would work for various times of the year. So for that reason, I think this would be a good buy as well. Both of the last two items that I'm reviewing today are from Black Halo, which is a brand that I love. If you need elevated workwear or something that is particularly classy for a date or something like that, Black Halo is the way to go. They have some things that feel a bit more corporate and others that are more playful and fun, but all of them I think are made out of the most flattering fabrics and they look very expensive without looking boring. So this first one is this gorgeous pink and I actually have rented and worn the same dress in black and so you can get the different silhouettes in multiple colors which I'm a big fan of. This is lovely in pink and I think it would go with a lot. I had a really fun time styling it. I was able to wear it with many different things and I absolutely loved it. And the length was perfect. Again, totally appropriate for the workplace, even a more conservative workplace, but the way that it fits on the body doesn't feel old timey or something like that. It still feels very modern and sexy without being overtly sexy, you know what I mean? So I would highly recommend. 
And now we're looking at the other black halo piece that I was able to rent, this green dress. This is one of these that I think would be fabulous as a wedding guest dress, date night dress, going to a show, something like that. There was a little bit of extra room in the bust, and that's a little unusual for black halo pieces for me, but I would still say that's true to size for me. I sometimes don't fill out the bust, but it wasn't a problem, and I think it was more the fit with the halter neck. Throughout the rest of the dress, fit absolutely perfectly, and it was so comfortable. Sometimes black halo dresses are a bit form-fitting, and so it was nice to wear one that had more of a circle skirt or A-line kind of fit. So I would highly recommend this one as well. I loved it. And that wraps up our review for today. So I have put the coupon back up on the screen for you. Again, there is a link and the coupon code in the description box if you prefer to just go there and click that. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. As I said, I have a bit of a backlog of things that I have not reviewed, so be sure to subscribe because I expect to have more than usual of my Rent the Runway reviews so that I can get caught up. Anyway, be sure if you did like this, subscribe, like this video, tune in. I have a video every Monday, so tune in next Monday. I am in the middle of a tempting vlogmas, so I should have a bunch of videos this month, so be sure to subscribe to see if I actually do it. I have doubts in myself, so it should be a pretty exciting month determining whether I can make that happen or not. So either way, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.